a vibration reading for the Gemini's for the month of October 2017 and the month of October is a positive month for you um, Gemini's because it is the month of an looked element and the zodiac energy of the 12 years to wake from the looked energy just you will have heel veel looked in the tweede week tweede last week is niet so leuk omdat je krijgt the energy from the water okay Okay, you have the energy vibration from the fear van aarde. The fear van aarde is a zeer, zeer positive energy for you. Um, Gemini's, it's a positive energy. The fear van the aarde is a zeer positive om dat you vibrate in the energy vibration from um, the element van um, uh, the element van um, the heart. And this is best well good on that you create stable and balance in your life. Now, the fear from the heart is the ownership, the beauty of divine order, trusting in a solid foundation. Even if you feel shaken up and un unable to understand why things happen as they do, I know for certain that that, that divine order manifests in all aspects of your life. What you have built rests on a solid foundation, so there is no need for fear. While it is, it is true that nothing is permanent in the material world, you find a security in the existence of a divine plan. Spirit is always there to remind you that you are exactly where you're supposed to be and meant to be. An higher power and the highest good of all and that always have abundance available for you. So this is wonderful. This month you're going to learn to build with and build something that is an ownership of yourself but the beauty of the divine order and trusting in a solid foundation so this is what you are going to learn to do in this month is to trust on a solid foundation and this is going to be extremely good for you um, um, Gemini's so learn to trust on a solid foundation in this month you have the energy vibration of um the um the four weeks your first weeks we have the energy that is wonderful and i so love the buddhas and you have the ten of waters the energy of the ten of waters is a positive energy what this is saying is that whatever situation your family situation is going to be of a positive positive endeavor whatever is happening so the ten of water is here with the energy of the tower whatever that negative spilled in your family has now come to an end okay see the energy of the snake is in reverse the tower and the snake so whatever negativity that was in your life the tower came and cleansed it and your family is going to be one of a happy one so this is wonderful um, for the first week the ten of waters and whatever negativity that was in your life it has come to an end so let's say you had family um, people from outside that was uh, um, affecting your family it's now coming to an end in the first week so this is good because you have the first of earth so the four of her earth so you're bringing balance in your life in the second week you have the nine of here which is wonderful your wishes and your dreams are about to come true which is wonderful and um, whenever that energy comes up which is um, very positive I like the nine of here you are an air sign and the nine of here is shifting negative consciousness self-talk and self uh, um, compassion from fear to possibilities a call to fate with gently but mildly 
voice you tell yourself that you love yourself and that it's going to be okay and that any fear is merely false evidence appearing as real you forgive yourself of be being so hard on yourself and you said i am a human trying the best i can need only to call in spirit to remind yourself that you are and you will be better as new possibilities begin to gather on your horizons and this is very very nice so this is a wonderful wonderful energies for the second week and what is happening for you guys is that the eye princess is coming in to work with you in the second week so whatever negative things whatever they people were thinking whatever people were talking about whatever people um, your wishes and dreams are going to come through you know sometimes when people speak bad about you and try to break you down they only send positive energies because whatever they think of someone else is what they get and you who are positive and going on a journey are going to see that your wishes and your dreams are going to come true whatever is happening the eye princess is here whenever she comes up that means she is helping um, most of you she is going to help most of you veer your intuitions to make your dream wishes and dream come true so um, don't be worried of this negative so it's it's it is negative because whatever that was happening um, this uh, is people were um, being um, speaking badly about you and and um, stabbing you in your back without you even knowing and I princess is going to via your intuition guide you towards your dreams to come true so this second week is going to be the first and second week for you guys are going to be a very positive one as we move forward to the third week we have the energy of the moon this is wonderful because it has the energy vibration of the 18 which is number nine the energy of the moon the energy of the moon is is wonderful because the eye princess is also in the third the second week and in the third week you have the empress so you have the eye princess and the empress this is well deserved month because the major arcanas are coming in first you had the tower the eye princess and now you have the empress which is wonderful whatever is happening whatever that has uh, there is going to be a quick turn around a quick turnaround with whatever situation your materialistic needs and all that has been taken away from you is going to be returned to you this is good because this moon energy is actually good the moon with empress is so it says archangel annual saying call out to me ask the feminine energy call upon the um the the energy of the moon to come in and ease you and clear you a new um circle this is normally this card is the ending but this is going to be a quick turnaround of whatever situation that was not working in your life as we move forward to the fourth and last week we have the energy of the king of water now the energy of the king of water is a powerful energy because this king of water is um, um extremely positive you have the king uh, um and if there is coming a new beginning but let's look and see what is it the king of water come up to tell us in this week because there are a significant important messages that is going to be working with us in this week whenever the king comes up especially the king of water it is something that we need to look closer to because the energy of um, this water energy that is coming up is actually it's healing you guys the king of water is a generous diplomatic generous diplomatic and fair person a good listener non-judgmental peacemaker and a mediator 
and this is wonderful this is so wonderful this is so positive so honor yourself and have respect include yourself and see the commonality we share with others in a sp on a spiritual level listen to others voice and blend with your own wisdom before settling on an option making a decision or taking an action gently and lovingly lead others away from fear and this and deservedness into harmony collaborate collaboration this is wonderful this is good the energy of this king it can be the energy of the Pisces the cancers and the scorpions coming in this is a new beginning for a lot of people out there this is also um, spiritual children being born at this time for you Gemini's that this is also um, the energy of the night of uh, um, the night of once coming in which is bringing in a message and this message is a new beginning that is coming in from the king of cups for a lot of people so the king of cups can take on the energy and the form of the Pisces um, the uh, cancers or the scorpion but a lot of new kids are going to be born to you air sign people in the month of October they're coming in as spiritual children okay so this is good uh, love is going to be extremely extremely powerful for you guys the energy of love is here for you Gemini's it's no accent um, the possibility of love sharing loving interest with each other is going to be extremely extremely powerful so whatever situation that is happening for you and around you um, expect to meet your twin flame and your soulmate they're coming in it's going to be positive it's going to be a time of love it's going to be a time of sharing for you guys so let's move on and listen and and look for the zodiac um energies of for the sun gemini's so what is going to happen for the sun gemini's what is going to happen for the sun gemini's what is going to happen for the sun gemini's what is going to happen for the moon gemini's what is going to happen for the moon gemini's okay as we look at the energy vibration for the Sun people for the Sun people we have the energy for the Sun people remember the Sun people are the people who are born 12 o'clock in the morning 12 a.m. till 6 p.m. and we have and we're going to work with the Capricorns are coming in to help you Gemini's the Harris also are coming in to help you and you also have the Pisces these are wonderful these three people together can build a corporation a foundation a stable a very strong foundation for you Sun people so this is wonderful so most of you Sun people will be working with a Capricorn the Aries and the Pisces which is wonderful it's going to be a positive positive um, time for you guys as we move forward we're going to look at the moon people to see who they will be working with in this month of October and the moon people they are going to be working with the Sagittarius which is a fire sign which is good the Leo's which is also another fire sign and the Virgos the earth signs are coming up to work with you air people in this month so this is going to be wonderful for you Gemini's whatever is happening this is going to be extremely wonderful and extremely positive so uh, be awakened um, for the the Sagittarians and Leo people who are coming in and also the Virgos so this is going to be a wonderful positive month for you guys as we go to the last energy which I'm using the angels of abundancy and we're calling up in the angels abundancy to show us what is going to be the energies for you um gemini's for the month of october and you have words of abundancy and it says you have the ability to instantly manifest abundancy by choosing powerful positive words 
always describe your own and the world economy situation in loving and optimism term and that is what you will attract for yourself and others and this is wonderful because I know you Gemini's can really um, attract a lot of these wonderful energies into your life and this is going to be positive so congratulations and I want to say to you ladies and gentlemen I am wishing you a really really wonderful month it's going to be a promising month it's going to be a month of you building on your financial situation and it's going to be a good month because the two first week is going to be positive whatever lies whatever jealousy whatever age which that was there it's going to come to an end and the healing is coming your way and I want to say to each and every one of you out there I am sending you love from my heart to your heart have a wonderful wonderful month namaste